The Scandalous Sovereign, 10 Shocking Facts About Henry VIII Henry VIII, King of England from 1509 until his death in 1547, is one of history's most notorious monarchs. Known for his six marriages and the English Reformation, his reign was marked by scandal, intrigue, and tumultuous change. Here are 10 of the most scandalous and astonishing facts about this controversial figure. Fact number 1. A series of unfortunate wives. Henry VIII's marital history is a saga of love, power, and betrayal, marking a tumultuous chapter in English history. His first marriage to Catherine of Aragon in 1509 ended after 24 years, when Henry sought an annulment, citing their lack of a male heir as proof their union was cursed by God. The Pope's refusal led to the English Reformation, changing the course of British history. And Bullen, Henry's second wife, caught his eye while he was still married to Catherine. Their marriage in 1533, after Henry's split from the Catholic Church, ended tragically with Anne's execution in 1536, on questionable charges of adultery, incest, and conspiracy against the king. Jane Seymour, his third wife, gave Henry his much-desired male heir, Edward, but died shortly after childbirth in 1537. His fourth marriage, to Anne of Cleves in 1540, was annulled within six months due to Henry's dissatisfaction with her appearance, a diplomatic union gone awry. Catherine Howard, young and vivacious, became wife number five in 1540 but was executed two years later for adultery. Finally, Catherine Parr, married in 1543, outlived Henry, surviving the perilous honor of being his queen. Each marriage reflects Henry's desperate quest for political alliance, love, and above all, a male heir, leaving behind a trail of personal and political upheaval. Number 2. The English Reformation, a marriage convenience. The English Reformation was as much a result of Henry VIII's personal life as it was of the broader European religious turmoil. The Pope's refusal to annul Henry's marriage to Catherine of Aragon set off a chain of events that led to the establishment of the Church of England in 1534. Henry's insistence on a male heir and his attraction to Anne Bullen pushed him to reject papal authority, declaring himself the supreme head of the Church of England. This monumental act allowed him to annul his marriage to Catherine, Marianne, and subsequently dissolve the monasteries. The Reformation restructured the religious, social, and political fabric of England, redirecting wealth and power from the church to the crown and laying the groundwork for a Protestant England. Number 3. A Tyrant's Rage, The Execution of Close Friends and Advisors Henry VIII's reign was characterized by swift and brutal retribution against those who crossed him, including close friends and trusted advisors. Sir Thomas More, once a confidant and the Lord Chancellor, was executed in 1535 for his refusal to accept Henry as the head of the Church of England, highlighting the dangerous intersection of personal loyalty and political necessity. Thomas Cromwell, Henry's chief minister and architect of the king's marriage to Anne of Cleves, fell from grace when the marriage proved politically and personally unsatisfactory to Henry, leading to Cromwell's execution in 1540. These executions underscored the volatile nature of Henry's court, where service to the king could end in honor or death. Number 4. Henry Practically Bankrupted England Henry VIII's financial policies drastically contrasted with his father's prudent fiscal management. He inherited a robust economy but quickly reversed this fortune through extravagant spending. Advised to be bountiful, liberal, and lavish, Henry spared no expense on wars, personal luxuries, and grandiose construction projects like the Nonsuch Palace, epitomizing ostentation. His wars, particularly against France, drained the treasury, forcing him to abandon the Holy League due to financial strain. To finance these ventures, Henry reintroduced taxation, despite dismantling his father's tax system years earlier. His attempt at raising funds through the amicable grant faced massive resistance, highlighting his financial mismanagement. The situation worsened with the Great Debasement, where he reduced the precious metal content in coins, debasing the currency and causing inflation. The introduction of the copper shilling or testoon led to his nickname Copper Nose, as the silver veneer on these coins would wear off. Henry VIII left his son Edward a kingdom on the brink of financial ruin. Number 5. The Dissolution of the Monasteries. 
The dissolution of the monasteries, 1536-1541, was a calculated move by Henry VIII to consolidate power and wealth by disbanding over 800 religious houses across England, Wales, and Ireland. This process not only stripped the Catholic Church of its assets and influence but also reshaped the English cultural and physical landscape. Monastic lands were seized and redistributed to loyal nobles and courtiers, enriching the crown and creating a new class of landowners beholden to the king. The dissolution caused widespread social upheaval, displacing thousands of monks and nuns, and led to the destruction of invaluable religious artifacts and texts. It stands as a testament to Henry's ruthless pursuit of control over both the spiritual and material realms of his kingdom. Number 6. Obsession with a male heir. Henry VIII's single-minded pursuit of a male successor reshaped the course of English history. His six marriages were driven largely by his desperate need to secure a male heir to continue the Tudor dynasty, fearing instability and civil war without a clear male succession. The annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragon, underpinned by her inability to bear a surviving male child, set off a chain of events that led to England's break with the Catholic Church. And Bullen's failure to produce a male heir, despite giving birth to the future Queen Elizabeth I, culminated in her tragic execution. It was not until his marriage to Jane Seymour that he finally achieved his goal, with the birth of Edward VI in 1537. However, Edward's fragile health led to his early death at just 15 years old, rendering Henry's relentless quest for a male heir tragically ironic as the Tudor dynasty was ultimately continued by his daughters, Mary I and Elizabeth I. Number 7. A King's Vanity, Extravagance and Image. Henry VIII's reign was marked by unparalleled opulence and a preoccupation with his personal image. He invested heavily in the construction and renovation of palaces, adorning them with the finest tapestries and furnishings that money could buy. Henry's wardrobe was filled with garments made from expensive fabrics, adorned with jewels, and his collection of jewelry was equally lavish, symbolizing his wealth and status. The king was also fond of hosting grand tournaments and feasts, using these events to display his magnificence and power. Renowned artists like Hans Holbein the Younger were commissioned to capture his likeness, portraying Henry as the epitome of royal majesty and physical prowess, despite his deteriorating health in later years. These portraits have played a crucial role in shaping the enduring image of Henry VIII as a powerful, though tyrannical, monarch. Number 8. Henry VIII's Incognito Arrest for Vagrancy In a curious twist of fate, Henry VIII once found himself imprisoned for vagrancy. Known for his laws against idleness, which prescribed death for repeated begging, Henry occasionally disguised himself and patrolled London streets at night, seeking to enforce these laws personally. During one such escapade, armed with a cudgel and dressed unassumingly, he encountered a watchman who, unaware of the king's identity, demanded his documents. The situation escalated when Henry attempted to strike the watchman, who then disarmed and imprisoned him for vagrancy. The watchman's shock upon discovering the true identity of his captive the next day at court underscores the bizarre and unpredictable nature of Henry's reign, where even the king could momentarily fall victim to his own stringent laws. Number 9. The Physical Decline, Obesity and Ill Health the latter years of Henry VIII's life were plagued by severe health problems, significantly affecting his reign and personal life. By his late 40s, Henry had become morbidly obese, with a waist measurement reported to be around 54 inches. His weight gain was attributed to a sedentary lifestyle and excessive eating, including rich, opulent meals that were common at his court. Additionally, Henry suffered from chronic leg ulcers, a consequence of a jousting accident in 1536 that never fully healed and was exacerbated by his obesity. These health issues not only caused him immense pain but also affected his mobility, necessitating the use of mechanical devices to assist in moving him around his palaces. Henry's physical decline impacted his mood and decision-making abilities, contributing to the increasingly tyrannical nature of his rule. Number 10. Legalized Piracy, the Privateers. In a bold move to assert England's naval dominance and undermine the Catholic powers of Europe, Henry VIII sanctioned the use of privateers. These privately owned ships, operating under royal commission, were authorized to attack and plunder the ships of England's enemies, primarily those of Catholic nations. This strategy served multiple purposes, it weakened the maritime strength of Catholic Europe, 
provided a significant source of revenue through the capture of valuable goods and helped finance Henry's military ambitions. The wealth generated through these privateering ventures was instrumental in bolstering England's naval power, laying the early foundations for what would become the British Empire. This use of privateers, essentially legalized piracy, highlights Henry's pragmatic and ruthless approach to expanding and securing England's interests on the global stage.